Ah, hello there. How you doing? Welcome back to Superton Studios. Uh, it's a bit nippy out here. Come on inside. Come on inside. Let me shut the door behind you. Oh. Oh, it's cold at the moment. Anywho, welcome back. Uh, I hope you're good. Uh, here I've been in the studio and I've been, during the quarantine time, just been doing a lot of stuff in here. Been working around. I've got my desk set up, finally. Um, this has been really cool. Um, you know, it was, getting the computer set up was really difficult. I really didn't know what I was doing, to be honest. Um, yeah, I finally got it set up, and uh, and yeah, I've been doing lots of recording in here. I've recorded about 14 songs, something like that, since I've started, and uh, it's been good. I've got my little MIDI keyboard set up here whenever I need to do a little bit of keys. Uh, that's been really fun, and I've uh, been trying to keep the desk neat, uh, which is so it's so easy to just like throw stuff on it so these drawers have become <laughs> my just chuck anything in drawers so uh so that's that um but yeah but setting up my microphone just over here um to do uh vocal recordings and then acoustic guitar recordings and stuff like that and the mlv is actually really good at catching the vibrations it does exactly what it says it does so i'm actually getting a really good vocal recording here really straight really clear um, so I'm really happy about the setup. At some point I want to make like a little focal booth thing in here. That'd be really cool. But there you go. Uh, finally, I got my tripod for my camera uh, set up, um, which is really exciting. Um, some of you might know I ordered this camera back in November. I got it in November, but I bought it cheap. So it didn't come without, it, it came without a lens. And, um, and so I had to order a lens, but by the time the lens arrived, um, it was like a month later and it wouldn't, it wouldn't screw on. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I've got to buy a lens adapter. So I ordered a lens adapter that took another month to arrive. And by that time it was late January and literally <coughs> the day I had it, the day I could finally start shooting footage with it, my laptop broke. So I had nowhere to upload the footage to. So I was like, ah, oh, no, this is just annoying. Um, but now I've got the computer all set up. I'm preparing to use the camera and I've got the tripod. So I'm not just going to be balancing my phone up against you know, any old thing. I'll have like a little setup. Um, and it's ready to go essentially. I just need to get confident with the whole process because up till now it's been film something on the phone, upload to YouTube. Simple. Now it's going to be film something up here on here, upload it to computer, edit it, you know, import onto my phone, upload to YouTube. It's going to become a far more complicated process. So I feel like I'm going to have to start filming songs a week in advance so that it doesn't get to a Tuesday and I have loads and loads of work to do. Um, that already stress me out. So, um, so yeah, that's that. Camera is coming soon. And, uh, and yeah, if we take a look over here, well, hey, look at all this. Um, so I have finally started putting up some of the acoustic foam. I put it up in this crisscrossy kind of pattern. Uh, and you see the, the white bits in between. That is the acoustic sealant I've been using. I've been using this um, Everflex uh, acoustic sealant just to seal up all the little gaps that were left after putting up the MLV, just to make it real airtight in here so I can't breathe. Uh, and yeah, got this little corking gun. And this is a tool I never thought I would ever use. And uh, so yeah, you have to sort of like cut a hole right in the top um, you know, which is really annoying. Uh, and so I'm just there with my flipping Stanley knife trying to carve a hole out of it. And then you put the screwy on thingy on it and then squirt, 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 squirt. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I feel like a proper builder now. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a lot of fun doing that. Um, hard on the arms though. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, Eventually, it's all gonna, it's all gonna be good. So I, for the acoustic foam, putting it up. Um, uh, I've heard from a lot of people on YouTube that you know, using the adhesive spray that I used to put 
the MLV up uh, actually kind of causes the acoustic foam to shrink. So I was like, ah, I don't want to do that. A lot of people are like, oh, you can put uh, little sticky pads on the back and stick it up and then it's just really easy to remove. But I had loads of staples left over from putting the MLV up. So I thought, oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use staples for for this and it's not completely straight uh <laughs> it kind of curves up towards the end i don't think it matters too much i think when you stand away from it actually the, the way the pattern is you don't notice too much i'm uh i'm not very good at keeping things straight apparently so there you go but one of the, the coolest things about getting the studio set up actually it's been able to get my drum kit set up actually here at the front i uh Five years ago, I tried cutting uh, a sound hole in my bass drum. Uh, me and my friend Antosh did for a gig that we were doing, the Tokyo Sex Whales, and uh, and it just caused the whole skin to split. It was a really bad idea. Um, they say you should like heat up at the bottom of a bean can and press it in and make a hole that way. Um, we just thought, oh, let's just let's just cut a big old hole. That'll be fine. No, it wasn't. And so um, it just sounded really lame. But finally, I got a new head for it, and I'm tuning up and uh, been making the whole thing sound really good. So yeah, I've been able to drum again, which has been great. It's been so much fun just being able to like drum again. Um, and I know this place isn't like 100% soundproof. Um, I probably need to do like the room within the room layer to get it proper <laughs> soundproof, but like it's cutting out 27 decibels of sound so if the drums outside aren't that loud which is great um so there we go so things are getting there um hopefully next time you tune in with us i'll have foam on all the walls and the ceilings and uh and yeah i think i'm gonna either paint the walls out the rest of it or put up some sort of you know, wallpaper or something to make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing because all the weird acoustic sealant white lines, it's not its not particularly pleasing to the eye. Um, but there you go. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for checking out my crib. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, I hope you're staying sane during quarantine. It's a weird time. Trying to use it productively, you know, um, in the studio. Uh, some days you just... I don't know, for me, I'm just really tired and worn out and just feel like I can't do anything. Um, but that's, uh, that's just the way it is. Got to take care of yourself. Anywho, thanks for stopping by. Stay awesome. See you soon.